Aisa and today I will teach you uh, some basic belly dance movements. So let's start. Movement. First movement is hip axis. So we will start with our posture. Our feet are in parallel to each other. Our knees are bent, but don't sit down, just bend your knees a little bit. Hip straight. So I contract my belly and put my pelvis and hips down. Open your chest, shoulders down, chin up and smile. Now imagine that you have a big ball here and then open your arms here and put it down. Remember about your elbows because we cannot go too high with our elbows and too down. Try to have soft hands and if you are a beginner it could be too hard for you to keep it your hands here long time so you can put it your hands here okay now we will start with our hips put your right hip down it's our preparation because we need space to move our movement and then push your right hip to the right side like this one and then we have preparation with our left hip and do the same to left side here and again right left right left right left right left yes and one of the most important thing is control our upper body we cannot move our shoulders here we cannot move our chest it's isolation so we will work only with our hips let's start again five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and if you are more advanced you can use your glute muscles here and when you go to the right side you can squeeze your muscles and then your movement will be more powerful let's try five six seven eight and squeeze right muscles squeeze left muscles right left right left right left right left right left Now, how to do steps with hip axis? We will start learn only steps. So, my right leg going to the step cross here. Now, my left leg going to the left side and left cross and right to the right side. Right cross, left to the left side, left cross, right to the right side okay remember about your posture your bend uh, your knees sorry your knee are still a little bit bent yes and try to do bounce a little bit and have soft steps yes because we don't want to look like soldier in this movement like this Yes, <laughs> so try to relax, bend your knees and remember about the rest of your body, control your upper body, of course. And now we were going with right leg to the cross and left to the left side. Left cross, right to the right side. Right to the left, left to the right. Okay, and now we will add hips so when we will go cross and our left leg going to the left side we will 
push up left hip to the left side here one yes and then cross with your left leg and right going to the side and now right do exactly the same push hip to the right side and right and left left and right right and left left and right yes and relax bounce a little bit smile and enjoy the movement five six seven eight right left left right right left left right right left left right Okay, now time for the one of the famous movement in ballet dance, Egyptian shin. I will stand a little bit to the diagonal side because for you it will be easier to see the technique. So now uh, the first thing, because we will do step by step, yes, the first thing is uh, about our feet. So Put your weight a little bit uh, to the front on your feet because it will be more relaxed for your legs muscles, yes? But I mean only foot, not, uh, not uh, my own body here, yes? So only foot and bend your knees a little bit, contract your belly, it's very important here, yes, and um, remember about the posture. And now we will work with our knees, yes, because in Egyptian shimmy we will work with our knees like this, bend and straight, bend and straight, bend and straight, bend and straight. And straight one and two 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 yes and don't do accents to the back okay it's uh, it's really dangerous for your knees so focus on front yes I, I will recommend to you focus uh, to, to go with your knees to the front side and now we are going to our tights relax you need to feel relaxed muscles like you were after massage so relax and relax also your hips yes because we need to put our energy from our knees to our hips and back. Yes, so relax. And the hardest thing here is do this movement faster. Yes, but don't focus only on your knees. You work also with your thighs. Your hips are relaxed. So movement going up here yes try to put your hands here and practice because shimmy it's not easy movement but you can practice this movement all the time and everywhere yes when you brush your teeth when you watch a movie you can all the time uh, practice this movement and if you will do as uh, often as you can you will see the results yes and try to a little faster 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 and faster and for the first times I do not recommend it do this movement to fast music because our body often, because uh, I uh, saw this on my students, 
but he wants to <laughs> be with music. So uh, then they squeeze their muscles and contract and uh, this movement just stops because we need to have relaxed muscles and do big movement and have an amplitude of this movement, yes? I hope you understand and try to, uh, if you feel comfortable with your knee, try to faster and faster. And also, uh, the good exercise for this uh, is do this uh, here on the floor and work with your uh, knees here because uh, now we practice our knees, yes? So uh, it's also good uh, exercise uh, when you, especially when you watching TV, when you just sitting and waiting for something, it's really, really good practice. Yes, and uh, also remember about uh, work to have more strong knees. And now I will show you one of the, my favorite uh, exercises for this. I going with plie, yes, and put my uh, leg up and work only uh, with plie and then straight my knee few times yes you can do it as a warm-up you can do it after uh, your trainings but it's really really nice workout for your knees yes and then change here and now I'm work with my left leg. Yes, after a few weeks you will see that your knees are much stronger. Here. Okay, so let's try with shimmy and try to do the fast as you can and remember about relaxing muscles. Five, six, seven, eight. Here, your pelvis and belly in. 
okay, but you do the movement only in one leg. Don't go to the front or to the back with your hips. Just bend your knees, relax your hips and hips down and belly in. So you need 
need to remember that your hips are straight and you need to have active belly muscles, active leg muscles and active back muscles, okay? To have a balance. Let's try. We will go up and now we will do with our hip up and with our feet up. Let's start from the right. And five, six, seven, eight. One and two and 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 as you see I move I do step to the back because it's perfect movement to move on the stage so we can use this movement to go to the front to go to the side to go to the back whatever you want so let's try again of course you can also do in one place it's also okay so but let's now try to focus on the technique okay shoulders down open your chest active muscles bend your knees and we will start from the right Okay, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Bend your knees, yes, because when you will have straight hip, you will go up and up, and then your movement stops because there, there were no space to do this. Okay, so uh, try to be on uh, soft knees. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Hop, 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 hop. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And a little step to the front. Smile, back, back, back. One and two, and one and two. One and two, one and two. I know it's not easy. I know. But it's only one way. Practice. Okay? Take your time. One and two. And you can go to the right side or to the left side. Okay. And you can now use shimmy to relax your muscles. Okay, come. We will do step by step and we will start from our chest. Now, we will go with our chest to the front. It's really important to go to the front, not to up, okay? So, we don't do this, we go with our shoulders back and put our chest to the front here. Yes, and you can back and try a few times to feel more comfortable in this movement. Yes, so front, back, front, back. Try to push your uh, chest to the front here. Okay, last time and stop it here and then lift your chest up and back. Okay, but when you will do this back, try to do a, a inhale, okay? Because we want to have a big movement here. Let's try again. Front, up, and back, inhale, and now we will do contraction and bow our belly back here and relax our hips. Yes, again, front, up, back, contract, relax. Front, up, contract, relax. If you feel that you have a problem uh, with front and up, yes, just stop 
and practice only this part, okay? You can only practice here. Front, up, and relax to uh, make your muscles more flexible. Again, front, up, relax. Front, up, relax. Front, up, relax. And then, when you feel more comfortable, try to back to your camel step by step. So, again, front, up, back, contract, relax your hips. Last time, up, heel, contract, relax. And now try to connect this movement, yes, and do soft, big and beautiful movement. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Front, up, back, contract, relax. Front, up, back, contract, relax. And very important, you start with your chest, not with your head. Don't go with your head to the front, yes? And uh, the next part, try to do with your hands like this, yes? Again, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I will show you one more interesting way to learn camel. Uh, you can use wall, you can use mirror, or you can use husband, or something like that. Okay? So, it will be easier because we will touch a wall by our body step by step and you will feel what part of your body works with camel. Okay, so let's try it with our chest the same, yes? Front, chest to the front, chest up and now I will touch wall by my belly and then by my hips. Yes, and relax my hips. Again, chest, up, belly, hips, and relax. And now try to connect these movements. One and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two. One thing, be careful about lower part of your back. Yes, don't open your hips here. Just relax, but not open your hips to the back. Okay, I hope this <laughs> way it will be more uh, clear for you. Okay, now time to movement with our chest and we will do accents up and down and I will show you two ways to do this movement. Okay, so let's try, uh, let's try but uh, again we have to start with our posture because this movement is only uh, isolation so we cannot move our shoulders and cannot move our hips. So bend your knees, yes, passive posture, hips straight and shoulders a little bit down. You can keep your hands here or you can put it here. But what we will do now? We will do put our chest up and then down. If you have a little trouble with this movement, you can try with your breath. So when you will do, when you, for example, are mad, you will do a big, big inhale. You can see that your chest going up and inhale your chest going down so it's the same but we use muscles 
to put our chest up and put our chest down with us. So let's try. One, two. One, two. And I remind you, don't move your shoulders. Don't move your hips, okay? Our hips are straight and in one pose here. Okay, one and two, one and two, one and two. The second way, uh, when you are more advanced or maybe you have some trouble with your back, you can put your chest up with your belly muscles. So uh, it's a little bit more harder but when you have muscles control, it will be for you not super hard, okay? So let's try. When I go up with my chest, I uh, put my belly in. And when I go with my chest down, I relax my belly muscles. So I use my belly muscles to lift my chest up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yes, so it's uh, two ways to do this movement. And now let's try at access. Yes, so five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, that's really simple movement. I have for you also nice workout. If you feel that you don't have space in your chest and you see that your movement isn't big. So we will go with our hands above our head. And remember about your shoulders down, yes? We don't go with our shoulders up, shoulders down, only hands are <laughs> up. And now we will do uh, chest movement up and down. And you lift your chest as much as you can and put it down also as much as you can down yes and you see that it's very hard <gasps> yes i know but it's really nice workout to make more space with your chest movement so now you can put your hands here and lift your chest up and down and now you will see that it's easier so much easier yes and add nice accents one two one two one two one two one two one two one two, one, two. 